the Micron technology. They are sinking in pre-market trading. Investors were hoping for Micron's earnings to rescue the tech sector and other stocks from that September slump. But the chip maker's weak financial results only added to the pressure here. The disappointing news came the day after the S&P 500 tech sector officially hit correction territory, falling 10 percent from recent highs. The sell-off fueled by the Fed's hawkish tone and fear of higher for longer interest rates. Now joining us, we've got Michael Aroni, who is the State Street Global Advisors U.S. Chief Investment Strategist. First and foremost here, when you look kind of broad strokes around the, the equity landscape right now, is there, is there anything that gets you, as Brian Sazi would say, hot and sexy at this point in time? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, listening to you and Oh, Brian, you know it, Brian, Michael. Come on. You're feeling hot and sexy this morning. Come on. I'm, feeling, I'm always feeling hot and sexy, Brian. But listen, I think what's interesting here is that listening to both of you, I'm, I'm reluctant to pile on on the negativity. I'm looking for some silver linings here. Uh, one of the areas that we do like is energy. So energy continues to be supply constrained at a time when we're trying to make this transition from a fossil fuel space economy to something else. The stocks are cheap. They've demonstrated great capital discipline. They're returning both capital through dividends and buybacks uh, to shareholders. And, you know, it looks like OPEC and its partners want to keep supply constrained and prices high. As a result, we think energy shares are kind of interesting at this point uh, of the cycle. And they've been reacting a little bit better of late from that from that standpoint. Yeah, I feel you, Michael. Uh, look, we had yesterday Exxon shares close at a record high. That is uh, catching a bit here in the pre-market. But let's stay on oil here. We, we have oil prices uh, climbing to near $100 a barrel. Doesn't that raise the risk of just wrecking this economy? I mean, we're slow growth here and, and really taking valuations down even further. I'm trying to understand how is oil at $100 a barrel a positive market catalyst into October? So I don't think it is a positive market catalyst. So on the one hand, I think it's great for energy companies, uh, energy services companies and the like, which is why we like it from an investment standpoint. So Brad saying, hey, Mike, are there any silver linings in the equity space? I think energy is one of those. But here's the thing, Brian, exactly as you're pointing out, I think that really has a negative impact on consumer spending, potentially on businesses in terms of business fixed investment. And I do think that that poses a challenge going forward for the economy. So it's interesting as an equal weighted um, consumer discretionary sector has hit three month relative lows, energy's hitting highs. I think there's some symmetry there. So what's good for energy stocks is probably not good for the consumer. And I would extend that to businesses. And you're seeing that reflected in some of the share prices of late. Uh, and I think that contributes to some of the concerns around the consumer. So that is one of the areas that I flagged. You guys were talking about it in terms of the consumer potential slowdown in spending is a risk to this market, is a risk to the economy going forward. 